Hey guys! So today's video is going to be a highly requested video. I have been promising this video for like the last two weeks or more. I'm going to be talking about all of my favorite products from the brand e.l.f. Eyes, lips, face, e.l.f. You can find e.l.f. at Target and um, actually I, now I think that you can find e.l.f. at different other places besides Target but mainly Target or eyeslipsface.com. I will link the website down below, like the e.l.f. website below. But I was thinking about doing this video and I thought to name it like best of e.l.f. But then I realized that everybody's opinion's different. Everybody sees makeup differently, certain things that I love you guys maybe hate and vice versa. So I decided to just call it like my favorite e.l.f. products. These are the products that I really love from e.l.f. Also, I wanted to just kind of do a video of all the things I like. Like I was just going to bring together a bunch of things from e.l.f. that I like and then I thought no because that video would be so long. This video is probably going to be long anyway, but I thought it would be too long to just talk about a million things that I like. So I narrowed it down to things that I absolutely love from the brand. Things that I think are so good that I can't believe they're so inexpensive. Things that I highly, highly recommend. So that's what this video is going to be about. There's actually tons of other things from e.l.f. that I truly enjoy using, but these are like my favorite, favorite, favorite products. Holy Grail e.l.f. products. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, if you guys watch my channel, you guys know this already, but I think that e.l.f. makes top quality baked products. Like their baked products are my all time favorite products e.l.f. makes. And I'm going to start off with their baked highlighters. I think that e.l.f. makes amazing highlighters. And another reason why I think they're so good is because I haven't come across many highlighters at the drugstore that are really, really nice. Except maybe Physician's Formula. I said that weird, Physician's Formula. But their baked highlighters from e.l.f. It, they're amazing. My favorite, favorite one is this one right here in Moonlight Pearl. This is what it looks like. It's a very beautiful, sh like champagne-ish, whitish kind of color. It looks great on fair skin. It's very intense, but you could just add a really light layer and not get it so intense. The thing with baked products is that you have to use them wet to get the intensity that you want. But these highlighters, I do not use them wet. I don't need to use them wet. They are fantastic. But one that I realized that I love so much for highlighting is actually one of their baked blushes. This is probably my favorite thing to use for highlighting when it comes to e.l.f. And it is their baked blush in Pinktastic. It has like little pink things all throughout it. Compared to the other baked highlighters, this one is the one that has the best formula, like this blush, because it's very, very finely milled and it's like super, like super smooth. It's the highlighter I have on my face right now. I love this baked blush in Pinktastic. Their baked blushes are also really good um, if you're into like glowy cheeks. I also really love their baked bronzers. I don't have one to share with you because it's in my makeup bag in my purse because I use it on the go. I love it so much. But definitely check out their baked bronzers. They have a couple different shades and they are really good because they don't have glitter. They're like a matte, but since they're baked, it's like a nice glowy look without ha without adding a sheen, if that makes sense. By the way, please excuse my hair. Oh my god, it's so bad. I, looking in the viewfinder, I didn't realize it was this bad. Anyway, more baked products I am crazy about are their baked eyeshadows. Now these things, I do recommend using them wet just to get like the full intensity. And they have a bunch of different colors. I have like the majority of them, but these are my two absolute favorites. This one is in Toasted, and it actually is a dupe for Urban Decay's eyeshadow in Toasted. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but this is a dupe for it. It's a beautiful, beautiful, taupey, pinky color. I definitely recommend using this one wet. And the other one I really love is Burnt Plum. It's like a cranberry color, a little purpleiness to it. It's really pretty. This one actually, I don't use wet. You can. It looks a lot better wet, but I use it dry. I actually have this in my crease dry. So when you use it dry, it just gives you like a really soft color. It's amazing. I really love these two. Definitely recommend these baked eyeshadows from e.l.f. They're amazing. The e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. Now, I don't use this in my videos. I don't think I've ever used this in one of my videos, but it's amazing. It's really, really good. At first, I didn't like it because it has tiny little glitters in it. 
and that just really threw me off but it is really pretty and reflective underneath the eye it's really nice to set your under eye concealer because it brightens up underneath the eyes I don't know if you could tell but it's good stuff but if you're gonna use this to take pictures I don't recommend it because it does kind of give like a little bit of a white cast because it is like that HD powder but I find that for under the eyes it doesn't really matter since you kind of want your under eyes to be bright but this is really good stuff I recommend this if you want a bright beautiful like glowing under eye setting powder I am crazy about their pressed mineral blushes I love them I highly recommend them I think they are amazing 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 quality these two are my absolute favorite. They have four, but these two are the best. This is Cabo Cabana, and this one is Sweet Retreat. They're so good. They're very, very pigmented, and they last a pretty good time on my cheeks. Like, they are so pigmented. I am not a fan of their studio blushes. I know a lot of people like them. I'm not a fan. They're very powdery. They're kind of chalky. They don't last on my skin. Don't like them. But when you put your finger into this product, it's just so, so smooth. You know, there's no patchiness with this. It's a great e.l.f. blush, and it's a great blush in general. I recommend these 20 times over their studio blushes. If you're looking for a good, inexpensive blush, the mineral blushes are the, are the way to go. Staying with blush, I've tried every single one of these duos from e.l.f., every single one, and these are the two that I recommend the most. These are the two that are my favorite, and it's actually Fiji, the original, their original duo where they tried to copy like NARS Laguna and NARS Orgasm. It was kind of like them copying it. This one is my favorite. They've come out with a bunch of other ones after this, but the original is hands down my favorite. This bronzer is very pigmented. You have to be crazy careful with it. Look at that. That is brown. But if you use a super, super light hand, um, like a stippling brush or something like that, then it's it's a really good bronzer, especially when you're tan, like in the summertime. Just dust this really lightly on the cheeks, and it's a really nice bronzer. This blush is actually really, really nice too. Um, it's not my favorite because it does kind of have like that texture of those studio blushes. I really like the color and I like the undertone overall. And my other favorite one is actually Fiji as well, but the matte version. This is a newer release to e.l.f. They wanted to do a blush and bronzer duo that was completely matte and I love it. I love this blush for the fall time. This blush is actually very smooth. Nothing like their original studio blushes. I don't know, I guess they've like been changing the formula, but this is so gorgeous. It's a really nice fall color. I don't typically put on blushes that are this color, but it's very, very pretty. And this bronzer is really nice too. Very easy to blend. It's a little bit warm, so it's not very great for contouring. I mean, you definitely can contour with it. It's matte, but it's more of a warm bronzer. It's something you could like dust all over your face. It's really good. I love Fiji in both the matte and the original version. Okay, so um, another top favorite of mine are these e.l.f. smudge pots. These things are a dollar each, I believe. I'm someone who really, really enjoys their studio line. They're my favorite. It's the $3 line, but they also have like a mineral line and an essential line. The essential line is $1. I believe it's called essential line. I'm not exactly sure, but the essential line is a dollar and I don't typically love all of their products that are only a dollar, but these smudge pots are so incredible. They're very similar to the Maybelline Color Tattoos or to the MAC paint pots, only a lot creamier and they're not as like stiff as those. I love them because they are great cream eyeshadows. They stay on your eyes and they don't budge for the entire day. They're really good for that and they're also great eyeshadow bases. They're great eyeshadow primers. Since on me they don't crease and they last such a long time, you could put this on your eyelids and then add some eyeshadow on top and your eyeshadow is good to go for the rest of the day. They have a bunch of different colors and these two are my top favorites. This one is in Cruisin' Chic. It's a really gorgeous taupe color. It's like, really, I highly recommend this one. This one's my top one. But I also really, really love brownie points. It's that warm, coppery brown color that you guys know I'm crazy about. I highly recommend these. If you haven't checked these out, definitely check them out. If you like those Maybelline color tattoos, try these because they're only a book. Okay, so I know you guys saw this coming from a mile away. These are the e.l.f. Prism eyeshadow palettes. I've talked about these about a hundred times already on my channel and I've done looks with both the Naked palette and the Sunset palette. Out of all the eyeshadows I've ever tried from e.l.f., these are hands down the best eyeshadows I have ever used, even better than their baked eyeshadows. These do not need to be wet. 
um, to use. You can if you wet them, they're even more intense. But this one is in the shade Naked and it's my favorite one. It has beautiful gold chocolatey colors. These are so highly pigmented that I feel like I'm putting a high-end eyeshadow on my eyelids. It's one of my favorites. It's up there with my eyeshadow palettes. Even when I'm not talking about e.l.f., when I'm just talking about eyeshadow in general, this is one of my favorite palettes, hands down. And that's saying a lot because I have a lot of high-end palettes. This is a great palette, and if you're into colorful stuff, this one is a good one too. I don't think this one is as good as this one, but it's still nice if you're into fun colors like that. They have another one that has more like silvery, blackish kind of colors, but these two are the ones that I just gravitate towards. I highly recommend these. These are $10 each, so it's a little bit more expensive, but I highly recommend them. They are worth every single penny. Okay, so I have to talk about their brushes. The e.l.f. Studio brushes are hands down one of the best drugstore brushes all around. Their studio brushes are $3 each and they're worth every penny. I'm going to talk about a couple ones that I truly love. This is the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. This is my favorite studio brush. It's like tapered this way and it's amazing to contour the cheeks like to give it more of a natural contour or to just bronze your face. This is also really great to just powder your face. Dip it into some powder and just powder your face. It's amazing for that. This is a great brush. I've washed it multiple times and I don't get any shedding with this. I actually haven't gotten any shedding with any of these studio brushes. I love this one. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush. I use it for contouring. I used it to contour today to get like a more precise contour and I really, really like it. I didn't think I was gonna have any use for this brush. This is the blush brush, but it's perfect, perfect for highlight. I use it to highlight my face today. And then this one is hands down one of the best brushes in the world. This is the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush and I used this to set my under eye concealer. I also love these two brushes right here. Um, these are eye brushes and they're both fairly new. This one is the e.l.f. Blending Brush. It reminds me of the MAC 217. It's not as good, but it's $3. And then this one is the e.l.f. Crease crease brush. It's just like a kind of small, so it's really easy to get like very, very precise with. So I really enjoy those brushes. And the only brush that I actually really like from their $1 line is this right here. Regular, just flat shadow brush. It just says professional eyeshadow brush. This is amazing. I've tried their $1 brushes before, but they shut on me. This one doesn't shed on me though. It's really, really nice and it's perfect to just pack color on the entire lid. I highly recommend it. You can't lose. It's $1 and it's actually really nice. These are the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadows. These are a cream shadow, but they're not like the smudge pots. These are like a moussey texture. You put your finger in and then you take your finger out and it stays dented that way. It's the strangest feeling ever. It's definitely a moussey consistency, not a cream. But these are really great eyeshadow toppers or just an all-over eyeshadow. They're really good, actually. The one I have on my eyelids today is this one. That's that gold sparkly color you see on the inner half of the lid. It's a beautiful sparkly color. I'm pretty sure this is called Toast. The only thing that sucks about this is that the name is nowhere on the packaging. It comes on the actual box. Like when you buy this eyeshadow, the name is on the box. But once you throw that box away, you don't know the name anymore. So it sucks. I really love this goldish color. I believe it's called Toast. And I believe that this one is also called like Pomegranate or Party or something like that. This is another one that I truly love. It's like a cranberry purple color and it looks beautiful all over the lid on top of eyeshadow. All you have to do is dunk your finger in and just press it on the lid. I don't like these with a brush. I feel like you get the most intensity with your finger. So I just kind of poked my finger in and just stamped it right on the lid and it gives a beautiful like glittery beautifulness. One more mineral product. I really, really love their pressed mineral bronzers. This one is my favorite one. This was in the shade Tan Toffee. And I love it. These are very pigmented, but they're very smooth. When I tell you like smooth to the touch, they are smooth. Really comparable to the blushes. I mean, they're the same thing, the mineral bronzer and the mineral blush. But they're so easy to blend out. This is what I have to contour my face today. It's amazing. I reach for this all the time, even when I don't want to do drugstore looks. So that's saying a lot. Okay, we're just getting to the end. I have two more things to share with you guys. And I feel like there are two things that don't get talked about a lot at all on, on YouTube. The first one are the e.l.f. 
Custom Compacts. I think these are fantastic. They look like this. I took some eyeshadows out. I had MAC eyeshadows in here, but I took it out because I depotted all my MAC eyeshadows into one palette. But it comes with a mirror and four little spaces for four different eyeshadows. What? What did you say? Excuse me? Excuse me? He's getting feisty. He's getting really feisty. What's amazing about this is that it comes with the perfect size to put Makeup Geek eyeshadows, MAC eyeshadows. So I love using this for traveling because it comes with a pretty big mirror. And whenever I want to make like a custom quad, like okay, I'm, let's say I'm going somewhere for the weekend, I'm traveling, and I don't need that many eyeshadows, I'll just take four of my favorite Makeup Geek eyeshadows and I'll plop them right in here. And then I have this to go. This is one dollar, people. One dollar. And then the last thing I truly love and adore is the e.l.f. Glitter Primer. I believe this is also one dollar. This is one of the best glitter primers I've ever used, and it's a dollar. It's very comparable to the Too Faced glitter primer. It leaves your eyelids super tacky, which is what you want, because if you're going to apply a glitter on top, you want it to really, really stick so that you don't get fallout all over your face. This is very tacky, very sticky. You put it on your eyelids, and the second you put anything on top, it sticks immediately. So it's perfect for pigments and glitter. If you have a pigment that you get a lot of fallout with, I highly recommend this e.l.f. glitter primer because you won't have fallout anymore, let me tell you. Okay guys, so that completes this video. I really wanted to just talk about the things that I love and adore. Holy grail products that I think are worth you checking out. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below your holy grail e.l.f. product. Um, and yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching, like I've already said. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.